In this presentation, we're going to look at process creation in a little bit more depth. So we're going to discuss about the functions of the application program interface which we're going to use to create a process. So these are some of the functions which are used to create a process in the Windows operating system. Create process that is the most frequently used API. Another one is uh, create process as user. Probably we won't be discussing this in this presentation. Another one is CW create user process. It is an undocumented function, but that is how you create a user mode process from the kernel. And there are a couple of other undocumented APIs to create a process. So one of the most important parameter we have to pass into functions which we have discussed is the name of the exe. So a process need to have an exe to start with. So the name of the exe is the most important parameter which we should pass into the create process APIs. There are a lot of other parameters probably we won't be discussing in this presentation and we only focus on this particular parameter in this case. Let's straight away go into a demo and see a couple of things. So these are the processes which are running in the system at the moment. So we have seen this before in the previous presentation. In this particular presentation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a process from Explorer. Before that, I'm going to see the Explorer process. It is right here, the Explorer, which is the, which is the shell itself. For example, start menu is owned by Explorer. Same with this particular taskbar. So for example, if I drag and drop it here, it will point to Explorer. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start a notepad from Explorer. So this is the default location for a notepad. So notepad.exe, it is in C Windows. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to double click on this particular icon. So a notepad got started. Now going back to Process Explorer, I can see that this notepad is started from Explorer. Now if I want, I can kill this notepad from the Process Explorer. So I got the notepad killed. So to dig a little bit deeper into what is happening when we double click on that notepad icon right here, I'm going to attach a Win Debug to Explorer. So attach to process. Explorer.exe, I have only one Explorer running. So I have a 64 bit operating system. So my Explorer is 64. And I have used a 64 bit debugger for this. We have uh, discussed all the steps which I am doing in the presentation series for WinDebug. So, if you are not familiar with how to use WinDebug, please refer to that series. What I have done is I have attached a WinDebug instance to my Explorer. For example, now I cannot click my start menu, nothing will work, nothing is active because my shell is broken into the debugger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a breakpoint and a let Explorer go as soon as possible. So the breakpoint I'm going to put is a BP kernel 32 bang 
create process w so this is the breakpoint i have put um so this is actually a breakpoint on create process function which is exported by kernel 32 so this is the export library or the dll which exports this particular function now what i'm going to do is i'm going to let explorer go by g so now the explorer is not hung i can click the start menu for example now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the exact same step which i have done before double clicking on the notepad i have double click on the notepad icon now everything is hung go back to my win debug to see what is happening i have to use task manager for that i'm going to press control shift escape so i have pressed control shift escape and i'm going to bring the win debug window to the front because i cannot click on the taskbar because this taskbar icons are not active at the moment as you can see i have broken into the create process so the process which i am debugging is this which is the explorer the shell itself now let's have a quick look on the call stack so this is a call stack this is how it looks this is one of the most important dll as far as the shell is concerned not going to the details of that so it is trying to create that process so how do we confirm that this is the notepad which is being created so the first parameter to a create process api is the name of the exe which we have mentioned before i'm going to execute the command r to see the registers in a 64 bit calling convention the first parameter is always passed in the rcx register so i'm going to do a du on that pointer so i got windows notepad.exe so this was the exe which i was trying to start all these commands which i am trying to execute here is discussed in the win debug presentation series so if you are not familiar once again please refer to that now i am going to press g now we have just seen how to start a process from explorer now i have a small program up here which calls create process api from that program itself so i'm going to start the notepad again from my own program so this is a small more or less hello world application which just create a process and calls the create process api just a small walkthrough first it's a main of the application and i have included this particular header file called windows.h so that is a header file in which i have the declaration for create process and i have initialized a couple of structures here which create process needs right here as i don't want to do any customization because this api is very powerful it can do a lot of customization i don't want any customization so i am just initializing all those parameters to empty if you want further details on this parameters takes a lot of parameters you can check msdn for the documentation of create process api in this case i am going for the simplest scenario in which i am just passing the exe name as i mentioned the rest of the parameters are more or less null and uh, this is as you can see it's a uh, zero memory structures so i'm going to put a breakpoint right here and start at the debugging so my breakpoint hit the notepad is it to start because i'm it to execute the create process api 
before that I would like to go to the process explorer as you can see in the process explorer DevyNV which is the Visual Studio itself has started my application which is create a process this is the name of the application you can see it here so I'm expecting a notepad as the child of this after executing the create process so let's do that I'm going to press F10 so a notepad got started as you can see here and I'm going to process explorer and you can see a notepad is started so coming back to the summary and to the presentation we have seen a process creation and we have seen a process creation API mainly the create process from user mode that's about the presentation now reviews comments and suggestions I would like to take from one single location so if you don't mind I would like to follow this particular pattern for the reviews and comments Unfortunately, it is not really useful to me if you update the YouTube comments as YouTube is just one way we publish content. Now, if you think you need more personal attention or have some in-depth doubt or need some more training, please feel free to follow these links. Also, please refer someone if you think they can benefit from similar trainings. All services are available online as well as direct classroom training. So that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.